well good morning friends uh, today i am going to teach you with regards to preposition what is preposition preposition is a word which is used for noun or pronoun or adjective to make a phrase what is phrase phrase is without subject and a verb let me give a small details with regards to how to make a phrase if you make a sentence then you have to have subject first then verb then object if you make a sentence like that he is in the class so this portion is called phrase you are not using verb or subject while making an object you are using a preposition to make uh, give the direction of noun or pronoun is called phrase this one is called phrase here so prepositions like at in on over of into unto upon across above below beneath under between among amongst during while bearing like for since from to toward towards beside besides by as along with along with despite of till until around about before after down up against except round near versus concerning regarding without within out beyond including etc well friends let me teach you today with this four confused uh, prepositions these are at in on and over we make so many mistakes at the time of making sentences what to use at at is used when we denote hour we denote time or a small place clear or denoting anything he will be here at 2 pm not by 2 pm will be incorrect he will be here in 2 pm will be incorrect at will be correct for you right he lives at chicago in the usa at before a, a small place within a big place you have to use at but when you write he lives at chicago then sentence will be incorrect here you have to use he lives in chicago but once the big place comes with the same sentence then you have to use at it will be held at king place not within or in king place will be wrong at will be right for here because to denote a place he met me at noon denoting time he has done it at his best remember if any noun followed by any adjective then you have to use at as preposition clear so at is used in the case of time are or denoting small place where to use in in is used at the time when to denote month year big place and in any static things he is in the garden not he is on the garden over the garden right within the garden this 
prepositions will be wrong for EO. So, in will be only appropriate preposition because denoting static sense over here. He was here in 1990 that defines year. So, in the case of year you have to use in preposition. He is sitting in the chair not on the or not over right or not at the chair. This will be wrong prepositions when you are talking about is sitting in a static sense. He deals in stationary, not at stationary will be wrong, in will be correct. They are resting in the shadow of a tree, right. In the shadow will be appropriate here, but if you write he is resting under a tree, in that condition in will be appropriate under will be correct clear it defines place in the case of definite place you are using under under will be correct in will not be correct as to explain about on on is used in the case of date and surface or reaction i shall be here on 21st october in that condition in will be non-applicable or by will not be correct, incorrect, on will be correct. In the case of date you have to use on right. But before a uh, uh, place, uh, before a uh, day, he will be here on Tuesday. Before you know, day also on Tuesday, you will be here on Tuesday, clear. But in the case of, if you define with definite time that will be happened, he will have been here, on will not be correct, here by will be correct, denoting that action is not going to finish up after that by Tuesday will be correct. So, using preposition it will be perplexed for you to understand where to use what sort of preposition. Clear? So, it will be held on Christmas day denoting a particular date or particular day, sorry. He came back on horseback. Back defines a place where you are sitting on. So, it is a Surface, in surface you have to use on, iron reacts on metal, not in metal, in the case of reaction you have to use on preposition, I put all on the table, in the case of surface you have to use on, I stood on the floor, I put all things on the table, right, I, 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 I gave him put the uh, papers on the table like that. So, at the time of learning the other one, the fourth one is over. Over preposition is used when you are covering something. Well friend, a plane ran over the sea, over sea is covering that is why you are using over. Right. No, uh, plane ran over, a sea is a bigger sense, uh, a plane ran over the bridge. In the case of sea, it will not be over, ran the, a plane ran across the sea, which is not to be covered up, then you have to use across uh, which is covered up then it will be over. Send me over mail for your matter, not by mail will be incorrect, over mail will be correct. I spent here over an year, it defines more than a year. He bent over the pen, I mean pen was in straight, but you make it like that. So in that condition over will be correct, clear. A bus ran over a bridge, bridge is a 
place where a bus running on in that condition over will be correct not across it will be incorrect or on the bridge will be incorrect thank you very much for the four types of preposition the next part of prepositions will be taught later on thank you